I got to be a snake. I got to crawl. Look at me, I'm a snake, follow me. Throws out the grenade, that's gonna give away his position, however, when this explodes, I imagine he'll immediately see liquid turn in that direction. Oh, what, what, somebody shot? Somebody shot? Liquid Ollie with the M24 on his back, wants to stay up close and sprayable right now. They're going up on top of the cars, that gives you vision into the grass. Boom, baby! Opens up, sprays down, finishes the job. Liquid takes the win. gets ripped apart without a second thought he's and for putting himself in a really dangerous position and he's gonna get sprayed down from well outside Chris is pushing in first person because he's so confident right now he's gonna be their cleaner they've got four got three on the rails making sure that they keep them pinned in the back corner he can't come out to stop Chris from the spray down so he'll just toss a grenade there's the push Chris pops him in the knee that's all it's gonna take Beautiful finish here by Craig's Odin Thor, BZ, and Rom. Ziggy Ayo and the team all opening up fire. They're trying to shoot out of the shit shack. It's a tough fight to take. They're sending their men out one at a time. Cover and roll. Cover and roll is the best that they can do as they shoot down. I don't really mind. Not a terrible position. Trying to find that flank, but he's got to be careful. It's a four-man squad up there. There's the open. BZ sees him, and he's going ham bone with the mini 14 on a super tap. Gets one knockdown, but he's got to watch to his left because there's the flank from I don't really mind. He's got one. Can he make it two? He doesn't know where BZ is. He almost got the spray down. His friends are now pushing. They know that he's given the cover. Bikini model to the high ground. Wants BZ. RS Risk Nas trying as well. I don't really mind pushing very ex well. Keeping an eye on AWN. Meanwhile, Bikini Model here is exposing his flank to his opponents. Has to be careful. They get the double. I don't really mind. Still being very effective with the shooting. Siggy doesn't have anywhere to go. Killing dead bodies. Never a great strategy, but it's understandable in the circumstances. Enzo and Avian head to head in a fight out. Avian trying to fight Enzo. Enzo trying to fight Avian. He gets the dive. Nice play there by Enzo to draw him out. And this is almost the end of the game. We see our last white circle. Let's go high. Siggy, last green, brown. He's got to fight everyone. Can he do it? Goes for the run. Gets hit on the way. Tries to jump and down he goes. Dropping back. I don't really mind. It's going to see him in just a second. Shiv actually gets knocked, so I don't really mind. Doesn't have to worry about that potential conflict. Shadow 1K just sitting outsider is pushing to the circle right now. He wants to try to take. He's going to run into Yannick. He sees him first. He gets the spray down. Beautifully done. Looks to go to the high. Shadow 1K. He knows where he is. His friends are on the counter push. He wants to come around the rocks. I don't really mind is running now. He's trying to get himself out of the circle. Smoke's on the ground. Purple in a good position to win this game as they're finishing everybody off. But two, it's a 1-1-4. One, one, the shootout is real. Jensen looking for Envy. Envy hiding behind a tree. Envy's got the peak. Jensen doesn't see him, but is it going to be enough? Envy tries to peek again. Doesn't want to open fire until it's necessary. There's the vision. Now he knows. He's watching for the peak. Envy with the look. Last man standing. Can he do it? Envy cues the grenade, tosses it out, switches to the M4, hopes for the win, goes for the spray, and doesn't get it. Outsider, Marty, or Jansen, and Drakius closed the job. So now Liquid has to move into a very precarious position. Walk over to Pony Riders, nice shots from Scoob and Ollie. They know where they are, they don't have the white though. They'll go for their boost so they can try to spin this out as fast. Great smokes. Lots of smoke coming out from Chris and his team as they move into the white and they hold the position. There's not much Ollie and the boys can do as they try to cross this path here. Scoom with another nice shot. The problem is if you expose yourself to Ollie and Scoom, you expose yourself to potential death. They can try to win from range with very effective shooting. There they are. A nice play again by Ollie. Very well executed. Pops up. Goes for Abbott Curtis. He tries to move a car in for cover. Him off, wants to try to get him down, does a lot of damage, Abacar jumps out, is it going to be enough? 
off. He knocks him as well. Great play by Liquid Ollie, waiting for his chance to finish the job. Two men down, and now it's a 2v2 for all intents and purposes. The heals are coming out. Skoom wants to lead. The shots are coming in. They've got to be careful here. Goes for the load. Thinks about the push. Cut the guy behind the car. They know he's there. They're going to finish the job. Low. Can they finish the job? It's Cud, and he finishes it. Scoom and Mole Man, who were outnumbered and had to cross the with no cover, are able to range destroy their opponents. <laughs>
fuzz face so has to run for his car he is very low gonna try to buy a little bit of time for a med kit here meanwhile g core on the inside has to watch out meter with the peak wants to go up to the high ground but knows he's exposed on the right cars are your cover right now gets a nice knock there Mexi and Jempty decide to make the push. Fudge face is on the ground. But Gems is up on the high ground. This could be a very uncomfortable position to find themselves in if Gems get, looks to their left. But it looks like he's going to come in. Fuzz face healing. Gets caught out. Wasn't looking in the right direction. g -Core has spread themselves across the map. Mexi going to go ahead and finish off Fosto. No need to watch that as we know what's going to happen. Evan and Kit Kaz now pushing. Fosty down, or not down but not out. So he is calling the positions here for Mixie. Mixie finishes the job. Knows he's got to worry about Kaz and the boys. The rest of G-Core shooting uphill. So it's an uphill, downhill. Four versus three right now. Lots of cover on these guys. Kaz falling back. They blow up the car. Managed to get a little something there with the vehicle explosion. So now it's a 3v3. James gets meter, but he gets caught from behind. And that is going to be the end of it. G-Core does a beautiful job of blowing the car up. And for some reason, Kaz and, Kaz and the boys didn't realize they were too close. <laughs>Look at this Yuki with a wide flank around. He can technically see a, the Rockets player on his screen. But the grass was just was just too much. But look at this flank around. He has a perfect angle. This is Theater of Mayhem, by the way, that's being borne down upon X Chris. Oh, oh, nice save! Really brilliantly done by by Hypic, I guess. Good job. He's a he's a celebratory member, I guess, of Theaters of Mayhem. So now it's just going to be up to Hypic. He, he can maybe hold down this circle. All by himself. It's possible. It is possible indeed. And with him actually downing one enemy and with these two teams not still not knowing where, where uh, Hypok is shooting from and with him being on the safety of the circle, he might just have a very handy chance at this one. If they make this one on a 2v2 with those two squads, then it's going to be easy for or easier for Hypok to get himself something. But now it does look like there is a team coming in to the safety there. As the circle is drawn closer and closer, oh, Hypok might just get killed by Shiv. Needs to be so, so careful. Shiv is coming oh. around from behind. Also, Hypic just uh, put it some shots out, but no, that's going to be it. Avenger will be the one to finish off that kill. Smokes come out in all directions, really limiting these players' vision, but Avenger will manage to get to the tree in time before Shiv can land those final few bullets. Avenger, by the way, the last player alive he's, for Theater of Mayhem. Safe. And that's it. Yeah, he's not safe. He wasn't even the blue. Oh. So that's going to be it. Beautifully <laughs> done by Evolve to close that game out. 14 kills to them. Thing. Just barely uh, not in the circle. Yeah, yeah, I need to go a little bit further there, man. Jempty and Hackset. Do they know of these players behind behind them? There are players shooting them from another from another direction, taking out the UAZ. But a grenade will take them very, very low. Does Hetchward and them know that they're up here? No, I something might. But another grenade is gonna take out Jempty. They see that, and that's their chance to push forward. Yeah, something's gonna be prone and in. He doesn't really have a chance to do anything else there. Car exploded close to him, and currently in the one team that has a full lineup, it is indeed Method. Coming in from the south angle there, it's going to be G-Core sandwiched in here. Oh, and Sumtank no. is going to be spotting his enemy there. Here comes another squad wiped out. Sumtank does manage to get himself that handy frag, but now he is not very much with his teammates. His teammates have, have been knocked out, and it will be indeed Team Method that are currently still in the favorable position, trying to make their way into the next one, and they do, and that will be indeed GG for Team Method. It's only 20 seconds here. These players need to figure out a way to get in, and they need to figure it out fast. Yeah, not a lot of time left. Some shots go in as well from Andy to knock out one of the G-Core players, and it doesn't look like uh, there's many left. Just one of them still alive in that kind of confrontation. Andy Pyro taking damage himself. It does look like he came from the compound there. Was it? No, it was Comet, actually, that knocked him out. But Meter dies down. Let's see if Andy will get himself uh, rezzed by his teammates, as now so many teams are currently trying to make their way inside of it. TSM break still alive somehow. Finally, he's going to be put to sleep by Odin Thor. But a fantastic performance to get this late into the game considering that his teammates weren't with him for most of us. 
Oh yeah, so now this is it. Raptor to Raptor. He's sitting on the side, making his way in. Who's even left in this game? It's just Icy and Haxede. Wow, that was like 20 okay. players down to nothing. But no, Haxede, one more. Oh, oh, he's too far out. And just like that, <laughs> Method taking a commanding control. Easy, easy. Yep, and that's the end of of uh, of Fly Q. Right. Oh. Odin Thor goes down to Stady. Alliance has already managed to eliminate half of their threats. They've got to find Stady and knock him out. Odin taking pretty hard outside the blue. And Silenzo still in a very comfortable Ooh. position on the uphill. There's the shot. Stady goes down and makes it. 3v1, Alliance wins the debacle, but they've got to push uphill into an entrenched Encelado. He's going to start to look for him at open shots right away. He knows that they're injured after coming out of that fight. Starts to fire at him, puts in some work. Now he's going to go ahead and get to that rock. He's got so much cover. He does. It's a three-on-one situation, guys, but encelado has got the high ground. Uh, but if he can't get some shots here quickly, he's going to be in a perilous position. Position is given away. He sees VZ. He gets the knock. He's got to run for safety, though. So now it's a two on one. Here come the nades. Good, Good nades. Wants the Kobe. Tosses it out. Not going to be in the. Oh, he might see it. Nope. It does oh. knock him backwards, so oh, a good no. Kobe. VZ giving them vision. Sigzy hiding. And Solano peeking. Rom sees him. Roms goes for the shot. They know they can Here take comes this. the flag from Sigzy. That's the end. Meanwhile, Outsiders are still playing the slow game. Abiza has dropped in the meantime. It's a 4v3v1 v at this point in time as they're able to get up the last member of G-Core who is knocked. Meter on the res. Aim PR looking to try to find advantage, but Jemti going to have the high ground here in a second. Yes, with four seconds remaining, the circle is going to come on in. Outsiders going to have to start booking it if he wants to stay in the fight. And he's Outsider the will start the run. APR sees him. Yeah. Has the scope on him. Easy burn down. Wow. No way! Outsider gets a knockout. But is... That's going to open the door for Mixie to push in on Vis. Break the last man standing right now. Break doesn't really know what to do. Mixie going to go outside of the circle to get the fine. Gets the knock. Finishes the job. Pushing into Art Liar. Nice nade. Is it going to be enough if they come around the corner? They want to open. Papa goes down. They knock two. Enso going to get seen by G Core in just a second, as will Smack, very likely. Enso going for the long <laughs> flank, but he gets hit from behind. It almost worked out. Drassius burns him down, but he gets caught in the back. Defilade cover now provided. Enso going to crawl. He now able to call out G Core. Look at Smack. He's coming over the top. He wants to find G Core. He knows that they're there somewhere. Poor they're host. sharing a defilade. He's going to see him right now. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Smack. Smacked in his spot. He's still looking. He sees to the left. Oh my god, if he doesn't spot them, it's going to be the end for him. His G Core plays super slow. Smack. Oh, there's the peak. Oh, and Mixie. Saw, Mixie saw, sees it all. Oh, oh, what a trade. Wow. He gets knocked. So Mixie goes down. Jemty going to transition. That does tell Jemty that there's no one left behind him because he knows that there are four alive. So he now has full defilade. The smokes are going to go out to allow him to try to find himself a position. So Jemty going to slide around to the side. They're going to leave Mixie. He's just going to provide a little bit of t fire positions. He knows what the other team is. Jorski, Bikini Model, Papa are going to push together. Jemti around to the outside. He sees him first. Gets the knock on Jorski. Goes back into hiding. Beautifully executed. They'll think about going for the pickup. He's going to try. He knows that's going to happen. Gets Papa almost. He's shot from the side. Bikini Model wants the wrap around. It's the last man. 1v1. Jemti versus Bikini Model. This is all that matters. Bikini Model now kneeling. Wants to make his play. Jemti on the creep. Jemti's got the advantage on the side, I think. He knows where he is. There's the lean. There's the shot. He does it. Jemti pulls it off in a 3v1, baby. Or having gatekeeping everyone in the water, so this oh. time they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be knocked out themselves. But Skoom also has to be careful just above him. There are enemies, and those enemies are gonna be coming. No, actually, they die. Shift now against Skoom 1v1 situation, UMP, and not a lot of HP against a fully 
uh, met it up, fully boosted up Shiv with the mini oh, 14. Oh, Shiv has it. And one that has the circle as well, so Skuma's going to have to be the one that moves it. Okay, Shiv actually has a rock to work with here. Oh, so, this is not going to be easy for Skuma, man. This mm -hmm. 1v1 is... Oh, my butt. I want to tell you, I'm, I'm ready to crap out some diamonds, dude. This, this... Okay, so now they know exactly where they are. Oh, that could have been it right there. But no. The headshot will miss onto Skoom. So Shiv is not in the circle either right now. Uh, he's he's closer for sure. But the circle does not have this rock in it. We can see Skoom rotating around right now. Uh, Skoom is definitely at a disadvantage here. But both Absolutely. of these players need to go out in the open to finally finish off this game. This is a frag over. This could be big. He needs to land this. Oh! <gasps> It's coming in. Oh, it's coming in, but it's a bit in the front. But the next one's actually in the backside there. It's going to be Shift that actually will take a bit of a damage from that one. No, he doesn't, surprisingly so. Just barely avoids falling down from those knees. But the circle coming in here. Five seconds left. Shiv versus Skoom. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, oh that one hit. He does a bit of a damage. But Skoom is still alive. He's moving into the next circle there. Just allowing himself to use that bit of a momentum, that bit of a distraction by those knees. So that means that now Shiv has the down hand there. Liquid Skoom makes himself small, proning down. So Shiv takes a bit oh, of a damage there. Shots he got it. And Skoom comes out oh. on top. Shiv being the first player to make his way into the circle with the UAZ. The TSM, Team Pongjab, and Team, uh, sorry, Evolve coming into this one now. It does look like Team Pongjab have a very good positioning, but there are not many players left alive. It's actually just Ewan. GMT as well, all by himself. He doesn't really have a choice to get out of this one. He's going to have to tank the blue. This is not a choice of him actually preferring to tank the blue. He knows that as soon as he peeks out from his UAZ, he's going to get shut down. So all that he can do right now is hope that he can stay alive for as long as possible. Break, though. I love his position. However, it's going to be Ewan finding a handy frag for himself, but he's alone now, and he's going to be taken down from under that bit of a uh, wood. Oh, it's breakdown to a 1v2. Oh, it is. Oh Can he come gosh. out on top? Oh, let's take a look what breaks is right now. It's really hard because of that terrain. Where's that grenade gonna be? Is it too close? It looks like it might be too close. He needs to pop out of cover. And oh, oh. the grenades, they're just too strong. <laughs> But I don't really mind. He's definitely out now. Metterbot finishing that off just maybe for the for the points there. And then and Solenso and Jorski in the meantime using that situation to actually push up. Metterbot still doesn't know where this second player is, by the way. Jorski's pushing up. We can see him on the X-ray on the side, but Metterbot isn't 100% oh. sure of what happened. And Solenso's gonna go down. It's just down to Jorski. Yes, indeed. And now Jorski peeks in left and right. He knows exactly where his enemies are, and he does have a bit of the next circle so he can stay where he is for a bit longer here. Oh now my he god! he chooses to peek out and it's going to be a 1v1 deal with Jorski versus Jemti. That is all that remains in this battle here. Both of the teams having one knocked enemy and one standing one at that. Jorski is going to be trying to heal up as fast as he can, but he only has bandages to work with here, so Jemti tries to make him move for it. Spots uh, is going to be... Oh, actually, Spots and Celeste tries to take him down, but he knows exactly where Jorski is. He's baiting the shots for Jorski now with a red dot, M16 in hand. We'll go for Neither the kill as soon as he has a chance for it. Yeah, Neither that's of these it. players are in. So they need to both leave their trees. Oh, go. And there's no it. cover. 1v1 duel. There's no cover. Here we go. What, what are we going to do? Jorski, he's not quite out of the tree yet. The circle's going to move in. Oh my gosh, Jemti taking, taking a clip. That's big. Jorski going to use the situation to now move up. Using the chance. He knows that Jemti's healing. Whoa. One shot, two shot. Jemti's going to get the heal off. But still, here's the peak. It all comes down to this. Oh, and there we wow. go. Jorski finishes off the game. through before TSM are forced to make their move. Interested to see how Fuffins is going to play this because he could be the spoiler to everyone's hopes and dreams, but g Core are already on fire. They've got to carry this momentum now. Yeah, Meteor was just trying to, Meteor was just trying to find some information of where he is. He does have the silenced M16, so he's just trying to kind of pop off a few shots. It's really hard to see. Oh, and of course we need to remember Mexi's now acquired himself. And AWM, and he's looking for players, he sees one. Can he find any tags? Bricks going in, he's thinking, okay, we need to get in here, so I'm gonna go pad this vehicle and give my boys some defense, should they need to move a little bit closer. Still trying to find ahead. But you mentioned Fuffins being the, the issue and the problem here. 
He's now decided it's time to play. He picks himself up a kill as well. And now he's ringing behind them. Mexi needs to be aware here. He is being the spoiler. You called this one perfectly, Dan. That's Metal taken down initially. 3, 4, 1. Fuffin's coming around on the outside of this. MXEY does have the lowdown on this position, but TSM have been able to push themselves forwards in the meantime. They're still getting some shots aimed at them as APR will have to bring himself back up to help. That will be Fuffin's taken out of this now. 3 versus 4, and g -Core have already proved that they can do a 2 versus 4, but this is TSM now. This is going to be a hard one. Smack! The first must go down. APR! This game's... My goodness! So <gasps> That's it! What? <laughs> he got him with a frag grenade! <laughs>
that Nade might be it, might give him a chance. His team may be knocked out here. They're not having an easy time at this. D at TSM might just come out with a victory for the first match out of the five we have today. NPR goes with the kill on Fausto Copy. So just one stays alive. Yuck is trying to hold his own there. Spots NPR, but what can he do? In a 1v4, it was going to be NPR behind the tree, and that's going to be the end of the game. GG for TSM. Congratulations to them. <laughs>
Comet is just no laying way. there. He's doing the heal. He's doing the spam heal. He's going for it. It worked. It worked. <laughs> I told you fastest voice. to hit the heal button. Just over the hill, they decided to get low and get healed. So now we've got a couple of the Pittsburgh Knights down. Slim trying to crawl for safety at the moment. Drake looking around to try and finish this. Dre's going for the heal. Survivor inside healing himself as well. Meanwhile, the Corn Shucker's starting to move uphill. Corn Shucker's healed up the full, insane. coming from the opposite side. Break can hold this angle in the circle and let Corn Shuckers do his work for him if he plays this correctly. He's got to beat Dre if Dre comes for a search. Survivor trying to get the jump shot. Not going to find it. Nade comes out, lands suspiciously close, but doesn't get break down. There's the breach, though. It's coming from Corn Shuckers. Envy wants to push the high ground. Break just barely left alive with one HP as the Corn Shuckers push into the nice Break tries to make his move as well, but he might just be spotted by Paradox, so he's gonna have to hide behind that tree. He, he might, might be side flank. He might be side flank and taken out, and yes, that's it. Paradox takes him out of the game. Finally, there it's gonna be the Knights. Oh, and they have a very, very decent chance at this one. Can they make it into a win? They're in a difficult spot. Nadable, easily nadable, but Envy, he has to pull this one out for his team, and I do think that he's alone. He is. His partner, no, I think he's looting right now, nope. so he's got yep. two. It's 2v1 oh, Corn Shuckers versus Pittsburgh, two teams uh, that are both North American. They play against each other a lot in a lot of different leagues. They know each other's style. There's the knock on Paradox. It's down to a 3v1. Paradox oh. goes for Envy, goes for the spray. Can't get it. He does get Survivor oh. now, but he takes the return from Slim. And down he goes, giving the victory to Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh Knights come out on top of that one.